identify uh, the, the following tweet and generate a response. And let's call this, this say this tweet. I'm having issues with my, my order, you know, just general. And then we would say, uh, well, let's say generate, see what happens, see what happens. The tweet is a complaint about an order. The response should be an apology, right? So th this is oh. this is not something we want to respond with, um, but we'd actually want to actually explicitly specify that it needs to generate a response to that tweet uh, and generate a response to the tweet. To see if this works out bit better, should say something a bit more meaningful. Yeah, so this is now something a bit more meaningful. So I'm sorry to hear that you're having issues with the order. Please reach out to our customer service team. And you know, this this I assume is just a fictitious number that the service has spit out. Um, but this is this is where fine tuning is a little bit necessary. So you need to fine tune a model to understand contextual information about your company, uh, so your service number. Um, and at that point, it becomes quite valuable as an automated response tool. Um, so that, that's why I always am a little bit cautious just using the open a AI API blindly, because uh, you do have fictitious information that it does spill out, right? I'm sure this is a fictitious number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, so so that, that's why fine tuning is necessary. But yeah, that, that's an absolutely good use case. Uh, you'll be able to see a under resource management, you have your keys and endpoints. And you can simply use one of the keys. You have your endpoint here and also your region. Yes. And from what I, yeah, from what I, you only need to actually use one of the keys, but as your um, supplies, you with two. But yeah, you'd be able to find your endpoint region and also just use one of your keys here. Yeah, that's great. Thanks.